Now to the new legendary twist, a culinary competition we all know, Iron Chef, Quest for an Iron Legend, is serving up a next-level cooking challenge on Netflix. Five new trailblazing Iron Chefs will face off against challenger chefs. The most successful challenger will return to battle in a grand finale for the chance to be named the first ever Iron Legend. Our Trevor Alt spoke with star hosts Alton Brown and Kristen Kish about how the ingredients of this new series make it a dish worth watching. With an open heart and empty stomach, I say unto you in the words of my uncle. At long last, the uh, long-awaited return of Iron Chef. This time it's got a fancy colon uh, and a subtitle, Quest for an Iron Legend. Everyone is incredibly excited. We, of course, have the hosts now, hosts, Kristen Kish, Alton Brown. Thanks so much for being here talking with me. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Are you both on the floor in Kitchen Stadium? Oh, yeah. I mean, we're in it all the time. I stay up on my perch, I mean, which is on the floor, but she's actually down in the mud, so to speak. Right. He um, sends me in for snacks. She gets things splashed all over her. It's a dry <laughs> cleaner's nightmare. That's amazing. I love it. How was it developing the chemistry for something like that? We didn't. We didn't have to develop anything. Oh, I was like, where are you going with this? I was getting a little <laughs> nervous because like, you're like my best friend. We just got lucky. Honestly, I will, and I have to give credit to Elton, is... He was so well, you must. he was so gracious in the first day, the rehearsal, the first episode, so gracious at helping me find my way. And I a thousand percent can say with a million percent certainty is that I wouldn't have been able to be successful on the show if it weren't for his help. She's wow. natural. She's a natural. She's just not going to say that. I know that I needed him, especially going into this for the very first time with someone who know who's been doing this for how many years? Is Let's not talk about that. <laughs> Many years. <laughs> she can empathize with the chefs that are participating in a way that, quite frankly, I can't. I am so focused on the food. She's very much uh, focused on, on the personalities and the spirit of the competition. And Kristen brings a, a level of storytelling to the show that it has never had before. Kristen, I know that it comes natural to be to be humble. Obviously, you're a natural. Anybody that's seen you host anything knows knows that you're skilled at it. Isn't it true that in the casting, though, for this, they said, what role would you be comfortable in, and you said host? It all happened very quickly, from my <coughs> point of view. They said, I got a call, and they're like, hey, Iron Chef is coming back to Netflix. Um, they want to talk to you. And before anything else could come out, I said, I'm not cooking, because my anxiety cannot handle any of that anymore. And also, like, I already won. I don't need to show up again and, like, accidentally lose. So I was like, I, I'm not going to do it. And then I was like, well, maybe like judging or co-hosting. When I said it, I knew what I was saying, but I wasn't confident it was actually going to happen. And then it did happen. You said a couple months ago, before it was announced the show was coming back, that you felt being in Kitchen Stadium before was like your master's degree and you wanted to come back for the PhD. So now that you're Dr. Brown, what's your culinary <laughs> dissertation? Oh, my culinary dissertation um, would be um, how Iron Chef has influenced a generation of home cooks. Because I, I do believe that this show, in, in all of its iterations, in its legacy, has been a huge influence on what people, in this country at least, cook. Now, the real difference is we're about to be in a bunch of countries uh, that we've never had the opportunity to be in before. So it'll be great to see what the, the global effect of that is. Other than getting to broadcast all these other countries now that you're with Netflix, what are the big differences? Are you dropping F-bombs all over the place? <laughs> we are not. <laughs> no, we do that silently to each other. <laughs> Number one, uh, there are no commercials. This is an hour show for an hour battle, so there's a lot more opportunity to follow the action. Uh, because Kristen is, is here, uh, we get to have actual conversations about what's going on, which I think brings a different dimension. Also, everything's amped up. The kitchen stadium is bigger. Kitchen stadium is better. It's more technologically advanced. The set in general has become part of the storytelling in a way that it couldn't before. Kristen, I know that you know having competed in these things. What I hear all the time from athletes or people that come and get to watch the sporting event in person is that it's way faster than you think it is watching it broadcast. Is that the case? A hundred percent. You go in there and you know that clock is going. The first like 30 minutes, it definitely goes faster than you actually think it's going. That last five minutes though, for some reason, and I think it's like a human nature thing, it must be where you want to subconsciously slow down time just a little bit. And all of a sudden you started rushing and then that last five minutes you're like, oh crap, I'm plating too soon or something like that. 
I'm sure you get asked this all the time. I'm sure the question is constantly guilty pleasure food to eat. I don't like the term guilty pleasure food. It's good. Well, she has like. no guilt about anything mm -hmm. she eats, so there's no Zero guilty guilt. pleasure. There's just pleasure. Is there something that defies typical culinary convention that is one of your favorite things to eat? So growing up, my mom would go on these like diets, right? And she'd get the prepackaged diet meals where you're only supposed to eat one for a meal. I would microwave all three of them and eat them all in one sitting. And she would be so angry with me that I was eating her diet food, but it was so dang good because it was convenient. I like her answer. That's a very, very good answer. I don't know that I have one, to be honest. I, th I think when, when I was a kid, I would uh, find uh, old dried donuts and put them in the mug mm. and then put mint chip ice cream on top of it um, and then milk. And that's why I still have the body style that I have today. I'm built for, for distance and comfort, uh, not speed. Kristen Kish at Alton Brown, Iron Chef Quest for an Iron Legend. Ice cream. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.